What's up everyone, how you doing out there? About a month ago, I was having problems with the bucket overheating. Whenever I would come to a light or in traffic, the car would just kind of heat soak. You know, I have the Killer Bee header and I have the Coil Rad radiator, but it was still kind of heat soaking. The temperatures were spiking, going up, going down. I ordered some larger fans and I headed to Metro Performance in Temecula to do some modifications to my shroud. Hey, what's up? I have Lance here, over there. We're dealing with a little issue with the bucket. It's kind of got an overheating issue with, uh, I don't know, just kind of when it sits, it just kind of circulates the hot air. So we're actually putting some bigger, heavier duty fans on. With that being said, we have these, here's the old fan. I think it's like a 700 cranking amp, whatever that is. And then we have this, new one that's like a 1400 so it's it's double but the problem we're having is way thicker look at the size difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to modify this shroud here so that it actually sits on the inside so we're going to get rid of this guy and now i'm going to trace this guy out like so and then we're just going to trim this mount it from the inside so that it doesn't take up any space that's the idea so here we go Test fit time. And we'll polish her up, brush her up, clean her up, make her look pretty. Do you like it? I do. That is freaking impressive. That's some good skills, man. Are you hiring? Yes, you are hired. That is Sweet. awesome. So these will go on first. Yep. Woo! Look at that. Holy shiz. Damn. <laughs> awesome, I love it. Holy shit. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Turn it on, work. Put the new shroud on. Look at that. Very nice. You'll do it. What do you think, Lance? Dude, I love it. It turned out freaking awesome. I am very happy. Let's slide her right in there. <laughs> right? It's yep. gonna be that easy. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> it's close. It's really close. We're close right here. And we have to take the belt off just to slide it in. That's how close it is. <laughs> so close. Oh. Bloop. <laughs> That's okay, this is an easy fix. We just have to pull these bolts off and grind a little bit off. Let me just show you the clearance. It's, it's practically touching right there. So we gotta pull this off and grind it. Grind this down. 
just a little bit when you get Whew, it's close but it's cool the clearance is insane so close So stoked right now. Hopefully the car runs cooler. We're gonna actually load a different map on the car to have the fans turn on sooner. Ha <laughs> ha! Look, it was up to 201. It's down to 192 once the fan came on. Ah, that's nice. That's very nice. Oh shit. It's so windy. Success! It's success! Well, that was two hours. Drained the coolant, pulled the radiator, radiator, took the old fans off, modified the old shroud, put the new fans on. The temps come up, they go down. So even with those modifications, after I did that, my car was still kind of overheating. So I sat down and I brainstormed with Lance and we noticed that since this is the main fan, the driver's side fan here, and this is the secondary fan that comes on only when the AC comes on, I was noticing that this main fan was actually blowing cold air. And I believe it was blowing cold air right into my thermostat, which would open up my thermostat and then it would close. So with the secondary fan coming on only when the AC comes on, it just wasn't cooling the car enough. So I reached out to Brian at iWire and he helped me switch the powers to the fans. So now the secondary fan is now my main fan. I believe that this fan coming on sooner and first actually cools the hotter side of the motor. And that actually fixed my problem. Now my car runs steadily at 189 degrees and it doesn't spike above 201. Problem fixed. So for everyone out there that has that overheating GC problem with the RSTI swapped cars, try switching the powers to the fans. I mean, some of you out there will probably say, why don't you just have both fans turn on? Well, that would cause a spike in a relay. It could cause a fire, all that stuff. So just believe when I say just switch the fans. Take care, smash that like button, subscribe, share, tell your friends, and I'll see you all later. Take care.